Hello and welcome. We're glad that you're able to spend time to learn more about how to set up your PIN using the Be a Scout system. The presentation that you're going to see today focuses on Be a Scout and setting up the Google PIN for your unit. Our session objective is to show you how your unit can set up the unit PIN, especially as being the unit membership chairperson. Now, first off, we must define what, are, what is a unit leader. And there are four, dis, four distinct user types. First time accessing Be a Scout for setup, unit leaders who are defined as a Cub Master, Scout Master, or Crew Advisor, along with the unit committee chair and charter organization rep. After setting up, a total of six people will have access to Be a Scout via My Scouting. There will be the three listed, then a primary, and two alternate contacts. They will, they will be able to update PIN information and manage leads for interested parents. Now, the first to-do item is for unit leaders to set up their unit PIN. The unit leader, which is defined again as the Cub Master, the Scout Master, the Crew Advisor, along with unit committee chairs and a charter organization rep, enters the Be a Scout PIN and Lead Management Database by logging into their My Scouting account. Once My Scouting opens, a unit leader will see the Be a Scout link on the left in the menu. Again, for the first time set up, we are defining unit leaders as Cub Masters or Scout Masters or Crew Advisors along with the unit committee chairs and charter organization representatives. Now, when they click on, they'll find two options. The first is unit PIN management, and this is what unit leaders use this to edit PIN information, and next, unit lead management. Unit leaders use this to manage incoming requests for information from parents interested in scouting. Now, we're going to focus on our presentation dealing with unit PIN management. When you click on Unit PIN Management Gadget, at the top right, up pops this page. Unit PIN Management is used to set what the parent sees on the map when hovering over or clicking on it. Filling out this information correctly is imperative to successful lead generation. There are two important areas we would like to call to your attention. At the bottom right is the solid red box is a preview of the Google PIN. Pay close attention to this box as we review the next several pages. It will become evident to you how this information is generated and what will be seen by the parent on the map. At the bottom left is the fields displayed on Google PIN area. The PIN preview box will only display the information that has the box checked. Step one in unit PIN management is to select the correct unit. Unit leaders may be registered to more than one unit. Leads are grouped by unit. All pins will show an inactive status at first. A unit leader can activate the pin by changing the pin status to active. By doing this, the pin will appear on the map. Another option, however, is to leave the pin inactive and choose to use council information for lead generation. That way, someone at the council will continue to get and work leads while the unit leader may be away. The unit logo can be selected in the box in the top right side. The unit logo is defaulted to the logo for traditional program it correlates to. For example, PACs have the Cub Scout logo, troops have the Boy Scouts of America logo, crews have the Venturing logo. A unit personalized logo can also be used. The unit's logo should be in a JPEG format, and the unit's logo maximum file size is 2 megabytes. Now, the primary contact information refers to whom the unit has chosen to be the lead in managing the PIN information and the parent's request. It is suggested that this is where the unit membership chairperson comes in. This, this, this person does not have to be the unit leader, but 
must be a registered adult from that unit. Be a Scout talks to our ScoutNet or PS system and updates the information of registered adults. This person will also have access to the unit pin management and unit lead management page by signing on to My Scouting. It is also the person receiving emails generated from the map pin. So a unit leader can assign another registered adult to work the leads. Once again, we suggest that this individual be the person assigned in the unit as the membership chairperson. The unit meeting address can be changed at any time. The address displayed is pulled from ScoutNet or PAS. This address will be used to locate the Google pin on the map and can be used to be displayed on the pin. If a unit is having a special meeting location or does not meet at their chartered organization, the address can be changed. The alternate contact information fields are mandatory. These fields are named respectively alternate contact 1 and alternate contact 2. So these could be individuals that work with the membership chairperson in the unit, or it could be committee members. The email on the file is the contact PS record will auto-populate the field once the name is chosen. Should that email address need to be changed or phone number needs to be changed, it can be manually done on this page, but it does not update any PS or ScoutNet records. The primary and both alternate contacts must have different email addresses or an error will occur, so you cannot use your unit's email address. All three email addresses will receive an email when a lead is generated. The parent will only have information on the primary contact in the Google pin. Once completed, there will be six individuals who have access to unit pin management as well as unit lead management via the myscouting.org. Those people are the primary unit leader, defined as the Cub Master Scout Master Crew Advisor, unit committee chair, charter organization rep, the primary contact, who we suggest be the unit membership chairperson, and the two alternate contacts who can be committee members of the unit or individuals that are registered with the unit to support the unit membership chairman. An alternate unit description may be used, but it is not mandatory. This unit description could be something as simple as a slogan. Remember the unit description box is reading from PS or ScoutNet. And in our example, the unit description reads PAC 0033. Perhaps the unit locally is known as PAC 33. That can be written in the alternate unit description box. Following the diagram at the top of the page, we inputted an alternate description. We must check the box in the fields displayed on the Google pin in the lower left side, and that enables the alternate description to appear on the Google pin preview. If a unit leader chooses, he or she may make the council information display in the Google pin. By selecting council information, all unit information goes away with the exception of the unit description here using PAC 0033. In order for the contact person to display in the pin, the contact person checkbox must be checked. Once switch, the council information automatically is displayed in the preview and on the Google map once saved. If the unit meeting address is the desired information to display, this box must be checked. Checking this box displays the address in the preview. This can be changed as the unit sees fit for where the unit is meeting. If the unit does not wish the location to appear on the pin, uncheck the box in the fields displayed on the Google pin. But an address must be in the unit meeting address box at the top right so the pin can be on the map. Now this example shows how the telephone number is displayed. Once again, if you want the phone number for the unit membership chairperson or the unit leader to appear on the pen, you must check so. Now this is an example of a special announcement once shown in the preview box. Review all information here and make updates on changes be sure to save your information. 
Once you have saved your information, a window will pop up stating that the unit has saved their information successfully. Now this concludes a quick presentation on how to set up your unit PIN. We hope this has been very informative. For more information on Be a Scout and other membership resources, please go to scouting.org slash membership. Thank you and have a wonderful day.